Jim from Leesburg, Virginia writes in, Josh, do you have attention deficit disorder? <laughs> I do not mean to be mean, but I have a question. Do you have attention deficit disorder? I try to listen to you, but you go on ridiculous rambles. You are all over the place at times. Do other people complain about your lack of focus? Thanks. <laughs> Jim, look, watch other people. I mean, my goodness, I don't care. I do what I do. This is cathartic for me. This is my thing to get on what I've been wanting to say for 20 years, man. And when you leave work from working for the man and you can't say, you got to bottle up all the stuff that's in your head relative to financial planning or whatever the else, the else you want to talk about. Uh, you have the chance to do what you want to do. Look, there's tons of other people who are more quick, succinct. I would say boring. Dude, go. I don't care. It's fine. I won't be offended. <laughs> do I have attention deficit disorder? Probably. What boy does not? All boys do. You know why? Because boys are active. They're, uh, they want to get out there and do stuff, which is the whole problem with the schooling system that we have now. It's like, you stay focused on the board. In fact, I just bought a book called Unschooled that I cannot wait to, uh, to, to read. I forgot her name, but the lady, uh, she was interviewed by Reason Magazine, Nick Gillespie. Gillespie, Gillespie. Interviewed her, and I forgot her name off the top of my head. Uh, talk about the model of the education of the Prussian model of Horace Mann. We said, Oh man, this is a great way to create great citizens, the robots that will do as the top down tells them to do. And, uh, and for people like me who are active, who are creative, a lot of boys uh, sitting in a classroom isn't fun, man. It's just not fun. You might have had a good time with it. There are definitely some boys uh, who just did what they're told to do and followed the, uh, the, the uh, you know, followed the model. Not me, never will be, I'm not going to do it here. And I had another guy who I actually like, uh, said, why don't you edit some of the stuff out? Because you have a lot of, you know, hemming and hauling. And I say, ah, uh, this, that, and that. Look, I'm not, I don't have time to do all that. I don't. I got too many people uh, wanting to hire me. I got uh, podcasts to do, videos to do, uh, newsletters to write, podcast or blog posts to write, other books to create. Uh, I just don't have time for all that. And so, look, I'm... <laughs> I'm not gonna appeal to everyone. I don't care. I'm not changing it. I'm not editing it. Uh, it seems to work pretty good though, because uh, the audience has grown uh, remarkably. Enough people to hire me to to where I'm making pretty good money now, and uh, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier. I'm blessed. Uh, it's not for everybody. I get it. 100% get it. I think if you look at some of these other guys out there uh, who are more along your line, you get more out of it. I, I got no qualm with that at all. Um, but I don't think attention deficit disorder is a, uh, I don't think that's a thing to poo poo because I think, uh, how do you know you don't have attention deficit disorder? Because I'm able to focus uh, without question when I'm reading, I'm able to focus without question uh, when I'm thinking and I'm writing, but my mind is active. I think attention deficit disorder is probably the in, uh, indication of a creative mind for sure. You should see my two boys out there. Hell, my two girls too. Uh, my, my, my youngest daughter, Chloe, uh, we, uh, she has a hard time paying attention. Why? Cause she's bored. She's bored. Does that mean she has ADHD or ADD? No, she can pay attention to stuff she likes. There, I mean, inherently her attention is focused on stuff she likes to do. Now you might have the attention deficit disorder and not be able to focus on me. And that would be put back on you. And I'm cool with that, man. I get it. You know, my, my going around my little diatribes and whatnot, Again, it's hard to focus for you. It's not hard to focus for me. I'm completely focused on the video. You might not be able to focus on me because you don't like how I'm presenting it. That's fine. That's not attention deficit disorder on me. That's it might be on you, frankly. You might have a hard time focusing. Um, I, but the, at the end of the day, the, the accusation is just silly. Now you say you don't mean to be mean, but let me be mean. It, it's just, it's a, uh, dude, follow somebody else. It's okay. I don't care. But I do take it a little bit, uh, the idea that there's something inherently wrong with people who are active, who don't follow the tried and true, who go on tangents. See, I like that. When I listen to podcasts, I like when people, I listen to Bill, Bill Burr all the time. And I enjoy it immensely when he goes on those tangents because it's a, it's a strain of consciousness. I like that. I like hearing, because that that's, in my opinion, that you can't get any more authentic than that. What's Bill Burr thinking about? He's going to put it out in your in the... Uh, uh, the vernac not the vernacular, the, the audience will hear what is on his mind. He doesn't edit it from what I can tell. And I like that because it says, huh, that guy thinks a lot like me or that guy doesn't think a lot like me, but I know what he's thinking and it's completely sincere. And it's completely authentic. And that's what I do too. And I don't have the time to edit it. I just don't, I don't want to, it bores me. It literally, 
watching videos of guys who've evidenced every single word to be so succinct and so on point, it bores me to death, man. I, I don't want anything to do with that. And I won't do a YouTube channel like that. I've had actually had a couple of uh, people. And so you, do other people complain? Yeah, I do. Other people say, ah. But at the end of the day, the numbers are the numbers, man. I get subscribers every day. Um, I get video watched every day. Lots of thumbs up. You know, my live streams are growing, uh, which is a complete. You definitely don't want to watch my live streams, man, because that's a complete stream of consciousness. That that would not make you happy. You'd, you'd lose your mind. Um, so at the end of the day, this is probably the last time I address this because I've, I've heard it a couple of times, and I get it. And I always say the same thing. There's other people who do it more succinctly. Certainly, watch them. I'm comfortable with that. But the idea that someone has attention deficit disorder because they do a stream of consciousness is, uh, I find that odd. I don't, I don't get that at all. Or the idea that some kid sitting in class has ADHD or attention deficit disorder because he's bored off his ass. And he's looking out the window and he can't pay attention. Uh, I don't find that. We definitely don't need to be drugging people just because some guy on YouTube uh, has a stream of consciousness and, and you can't focus on what that guy's saying. That's Again, that's not on me. That's on you. And I just, uh, I, 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 that's, and I, but it's funny because when my young, my third boy, my third child, when he, uh, was diagnosed in school with ADHD and ADD, uh, -uh it turned out he just had dyslexia. Um, so I do somewhat take offense to the idea of ADD being this, you know, a hyperactive mind leads you to ADD. Um, I, I, cause he didn't, and thank God, thank God we had the wherewithal to get him tested for dyslexia or else they would have certainly uh, had him some stupid psychologist would have given him freaking dope uh, to deal with his issues that he did not have. He had dyslexia. Amazingly enough, we had him going through Orton Gillingham uh, to learn how to read and the ADHD and ADD just disappeared. He's still active. He's still hyper. He still doesn't like sitting in class, but he can read like a champ now and no more talk about him needing drugs in order to deal with his hyperactivity. Isn't that interesting? And yet there are some people who do. I get it. I mean, I get it. It's just I think boys, generally speaking, are more hyperactive, more creative uh, in terms of uh, their ability to be policed up. Why do you think boys get in trouble more? Because they're always they're, they're just energy, high energy. And that's me, brother. High energy. It's a uh, way I've always been. Well, always will be. No apologies on this end. But I don't think it's, I, I do find it offensive to take light of this issue of ADD when people are being diagnosed with it who don't have it. Um, it's, it's a, uh, it's a common occurrence and to, to, to essentially chastise men and boys because they're hyperactive. I wouldn't say hyperactive. They're just, they're just men and boys because you can't follow along. I find that to be offensive. I really do. And you should not do that. Don't, don't be living your life offending people and just find something else and move on. It's okay. All right, that's all I want to say about this. I just, uh, it, it did, it kind of bothered me, as you can tell. I'm like, dude, <laughs> the idea I would have got my son doped up because the school said he can't focus. And the idea I would have got my daughter doped up because she's bored off her butt and the school says she can't focus. And they haven't said that. But the idea that somebody would make a, an issue of someone who can't focus, who's someone who goes off on a stream of consciousness. You ever heard of serendipity? Hey, look, here I am doing it again. Oh, no, Jim, don't be offended. Serendipity is when you're looking for something over here, and you, but you find something that was you thought was over here, but it actually turns out to be over here. Sometimes stream of consciousness is where you get your best serendipity. Just allow the mind to flow. Now, for me, because I have a YouTube channel, I allow it to flow from my mind through my mouth. And you might think it's puking on you. That's fine. That's fine. Not for me. And I can tell not for other people, too, or else I wouldn't have an audience. But my audience has grown. It's just all there is to it. But serendipity. You're looking for something over there, and but you find something, but it wasn't what you're looking for. Tons of that happening in our history of humankind. Serendipity. Don't have everything follow the tried and true. Don't say it has to be like this in this, uh, just this box you know, color by numbers. You gotta break out of that, man. There's gotta be a way to say, huh, like creative nature, the juices flow. Color outside the lines, it's okay. Some people don't like it, it's okay. You don't have to, but it's what you got. So if you're gonna be watching me, this is what you're gonna get. All right, see you guys next time.